what is up guys welcome to today's video today for you guys i have a different variation on the tristana deck i posted a couple of days ago so you guys remember that one was flashing shadow isles with atrocity and splinter soul and that splinter soul interaction got me thinking i was like I'm gonna ramp this up a little bit go a little crazier so we're going dawn and dusk today dawn and dusk with tristana um it's a super cool interaction so basically that interaction that bandle gunners had where you could get an eight impact unit we're doing it with bay folk instead and instead of one eight impact unit you get two two impact un eight impact units plus the four impact unit that's already sticking on the board essentially a 20 damage otk if they don't have an answer for it so um i it was something i had to try and the results were pretty well i'm not entirely sure if the shadow isles version or this version has more potential in the long run i think i still need to clean up a lot of the different cards but it put in work for sure i've been playing it actually a bit on my stream as well so you guys if you watch the stream you guys might be a little familiar with this deck at this point um yeah the deck is a ton of fun if you guys haven't checked it out make sure you guys check it out and yeah, if you guys haven't liked the video or subscribed to the channel, make sure you guys do that. Liking the video helps out a lot, helps the algorithm, you know, get it in tune with all the stuff that we're doing here and the subscriptions. I'm um, in the long term. I'm really trying to grow this channel. I think the longevity factor of a streamer and content creator, a lot of time, the part of it is the YouTube. So I'm really trying to grow the YouTube. So I'd appreciate it if you guys did hit that subscribe button. But we're going to go ahead and jump into the deck tech. So here is the deck list. We are running three copies of Teemo, three copies of Tristana. If you guys remember before, the other version of this deck had two Teemos, one Poppy. We went for three Teemos here because Fae Folk has a different requirement to get the four impact than Bandle Gunners, which is you have to hit the Nexus four times, right? So Puff Caps helps in that a lot, and as well just the early chip damage from Teemo. So I felt like three Teemos really helped to stabilize that and get it more consistently. We have three copies of Protoporo. We still, you know, having Tristana in the deck, we want as much multi-region synergy as possible. The so most of the followers in this deck are multi-region. Um, outside of Conchologist, Conchologist being able to pull Twin Disciplines and Pokey Stick and a bunch of other good spells from its pool, I thought made it a good card to fit in the deck and complement the different synergies, as well as activating Tenor of Terror a lot of the times by giving a spell that you could play on uh on curve we run three copies of dawn and dusk which is one of the main finishers in the deck with furious fae folk i talked about the eight impact that you could create also if you use it on a tenor of terror each time the tenor of terror spawns it spawns another one of the complementary units so you could go from one tenor of terror to a board of six wide and it is a pretty strong interaction as well aloof traveler is another good hit you could just draw into a bunch of cards cycle out a bunch of the opponent's cards and we run shell game as well shell game giving elusive to something like Tristana is kind of like the it's like a ghetto type of atrocity in a way just a way to connect Tristana's big stats into nexus the other reason why shell game is good is essentially it only costs two mana after you get the refuel from the mana coming back and you could do shell game into dawn and dusk for some really big hits and big combo potential um, so the main strategy in this game is to kind of just go for chip damage, set up your late game combos, and close them out one way or the other. And like I said, this deck surprised me a bit. Obviously, I knew the core was strong because a lot of it is coming from that other deck. But Dawn and Dusk uh, proved to be pretty legit, pretty legit. Again, not sure if it's as good as some of the other stuff that we were seeing in the Shadow Isles version, but time will tell, and I just want to share this uh, share this deck with you guys. That being said, we're gonna go ahead and jump into the gameplay. Once again, if you haven't subscribed, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button. Peace. Is Nami? I'm thinking Mayor, two drop. I don't know if Tristana or the pokey stick i think just these two decent keeps this is cool i think we probably play probably play the bomber twins on curve they both of these guys on reduced price and just put more pressure on turn two especially when they do want to bank mana to level up nami sense obelisk the worst created card i could have seen 
Not the best at this moment, but this is fine. We'll just trade into the Fizz. That killed. And with two Mayor, I mean, both of these for zero plus whatever is created, like, that'd be dope. I think I'm gonna go with the Furious Fey Folk here. I'll put in some work for sure, for sure. This will be to like set up his attack, right? Fine with that. Get Teemo down. It's generally just tenor here. Player created card follower summon an exam. Copy. Spell cast it on the same targets. I don't know about all that. <laughs> I don't think we need to get that fancy. We'll just take tenors. Super wide. I'm literally all tenors right now. It might even be overkill. I might want to just do this, but it's like two mana for this or two mana for draw. I don't know. I want to see if I could somehow get these activated somewhat soon like need some puff cap rng or something you just box here and here isn't the best i, I kind of want to clear the board space though i'd rather just get rid of his units I feel like I should kill this before Nami comes down and this becomes like a threat, you know? That is kind of comical <laughs> because of our draw, which is zero mana Teemo. Okay, sounds good. Pick up something decent from the Conchologist. Doesn't matter that much. These should also like hyper level uh Bay folk really now that I think about it. These can just trade. Let's play two tenor. Actually triple drew fizz, that's pretty funny. Almost leveled. Hey, got him. Tenor's too strong. <laughs> Not a bad start. Not a bad start. Mage just cracked, so I think I always keep him. Emo conch aloof. I mean we have a curve anyways. Mage cracked, he does get removed, but at least he's Obvious creation synergy. Keep me in the hand. See how it goes. Emo hitting on one. Good for Fey Folk. As the uh, puff caps come through, they kind of proc this, right? Hmm. Answer that with my own. Wait, 
Retreat return seems kind of funny. Of these options, the dart, I, like, I don't think I want removal. I think I'll wait to play the mayor then. I, I want him to connect. I'm going to try to have him live. Probably just like an aloof at this point. Maybe I can discard like a Senna or something before they get online. Down to two mana actually. I'll go with Mare. Mare into t a Telescope for sure. Play this at two, that at three. All curves out. Seems good. Miss you, Teemo. A little unfortunate. Start with the aloof here. Probably retreat return this when he targets it with the darkness. Later mini morph. Doesn't opt for it here, so I go with the zero mana line. Or I guess. I mean, this is a play effect anyway, so the return. I mean, I can't just summon it. Like, I could just return this, I guess. funny to me tons of chump blockers that looks good he set up a ton we already kind of like narrowed it down this will like break his first darkness whenever he tries to go for it not bad one mana telescope. Bayfolk's online as well. Yeah, I don't, I don't know if I want to use all my mana at this point. Messenger seems good. E. Tristana, hype. He's got so many. I guess he's saving it for Tristana, I guess, now that I think about it. Later, Fae Folk. Do your best. Okay, well, now we have Tristana. I can go for the shell game on it. That's worth a shot. How much do I care about this one damage? I'm literally dealing 10. He levels though? Let the Tristana die. Mm. 
little bit of that double impact, right? <laughs> we just have another. That'll work. That'll make it a little difficult for him. Ooh, Senna Sus. Senna Sus. Just deal three, right? Doesn't even help. Uh oh. Uh oh, uh oh, This actually might be fine. I got a plan. I'm thinking it's like block here, block here. Go ahead and do this. So now, boom, both of those are gone. This dies. Can't do this at fast speed. I can open attack with the shell game. We'll see what happens. Drops for like mini morph or something. Don't leave those there. Leave them there. Come on. The clock go down. Just it's cool. It's cool, right? Eleven damage. Tristana, too good. Shell game broken. Confirmed. <laughs> um, you know, edge of my seat. If he just rips a mini morph at the end of this, um. God. Are we, do we still win actually? No, I wait, yeah, we do. Couldn't he just blocked over wait what? <laughs> okay, sure. That that works for me. I'll take it. We take misplaced for sure. <laughs> That's fine. Actually got a curve out of nowhere. Take it. Proto down. Three three quick attack on three. Okay. And actually as good as we can hope for, it's just gonna be a little dangerous if we can get an attack in with her. Seems AFK. <laughs> if he comes back in the next turn or so, hopefully. He's back. There it is. All 
All right, depending on what he plays here, easy pokey stick. Not trying to deal with this young witch combo. So annoying. If I can cop a created card for the tenor. Moonsilver sounds good to me. I honestly didn't even look at the other two. Probably not the best habit I've seen. Farming impact real quick. I think I'm playing Tristana here and then playing ter Terrors that are going to level this, right? Using the Buster Shot on the Young Witch might not feel too bad either. It's a Tristana Buster Shot though, right? I want to keep that in the back just in case. All of this stuff trades pretty horribly for him. I think we're just gonna attack see how he kind of responds to this see what he gives us this block is the easy one all of this other stuff he might just that might mean he's just yeah letting this go i'll take um question here now like what do i want to do about you or this even because like shell game be all right Pokey stick is like what we have here. <laughs> Tough. Nopeify. Damn, bro. My second Tristana just getting done like that. See you. Doesn't open. These can get double impact. Good. This rally is about to make me lose my mind. Interesting. So no rally, actually. Since I could have had lethal with the pokey stick. What we have here, Dreadway, Aloof, Charger. Charger pushes like one. Actually pushes more than one if I make it elusive. Impact four, you say? I think I like winning with impact here, because I don't think there's responses they could have to stop this. Seems way less susceptible than the other plays we had. Just eats everything. Yeah. Impact too strong. <clears throat> Curious to know if the charger combo would have worked, but hey, I'll take that one too. But hope they don't have mini morph type of matchup. Keep mayor, keep nothing else. 
I mean, like, homeboys are win con, right? Mr. Seven drop, but we gotta proc him. So I think we're looking for early units and just kind of setting that up. Kind of more important, especially when they can go like card for card with us. Now we gotta hope we draw into him, or we can create him maybe. Shake or Trinket Trade? I don't know why I want to take this Shake. It's Trinket Trade. Wondrous discoveries await below. Swiftly. Right now? I think I just open with them, see what I could pull off. It was! Oh my god, I knew it was the other one. Badge. take the sled i can play the trinket trade with the enter next round probably just open attacks right sus strange I think I just trade everything off here and just play the sled for five still trades with poppy ends up like a big pretty big threat generates a unit it's my best option here. Back with this, because again, the procs for the Bay Folk, if I can get them, is important. We know we have Dawn and Dusk, right? That's cool. So this is a uh, telling of, like, Flock, but it's what it is. Plays Mayor, probably plays Flock this round still. I should make a speech. Where's my speech? Are you ready? Or not? Yeah. Either way, this just means more actions from him, right? There's the Fey Folk. Activated two. I think I want to see what I can pull from this. Moon glow. If I bank mana, I could moon glow the Fey Folk. You could just preemptively mini morph it though. Still gonna take it. Boom. This is uh, kind of bad. Less than ideal, I might say. Feeling like I need to just go real wide to have a chance here. Serpent works.
think important thing here is just surviving this attack. Because we're going to try to kill with this Feifo combo. If he doesn't have, like, if he spends mana here, and he taps under, like, I can play the Poro, and then still have mana for both of these, and then set up into the Dawn and Dusk. This is good. Weird to me. Okay, he's... Exactly six, dude. Fuck. Ah, oh, please play something here. Oh, group shot? Wait. Oh, he's gonna scorch it, dude. The one to an enemy if you blah 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 blah. So sad. I have to try. Oh? Okay. See you. Maybe. There's. Okay, 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 okay. Got a chance. If we can hit him with a good old impact 12 million real quick. So both of these will have 8 impact. That one has 4. Exact lethal. Not exact. I can't do math. <laughs> 20. Exactly 20. Good little OTK right here. I'm alone. No scorched. Please. This even beats mini morphs in some ways because. If he drew it, because he has to pop the spell shield first. That is so sad. One of these units stays unblocked. I pick this here. Still exact lethal. Hmm. See, so at six out of ten, okay relatively not that bad I think I'm just gonna like pokey face and see what I can find that is some insane RNG bro <laughs> kill the sparring student i don't think i benefit from that though i'm just gonna draw another fey folk will be one off actually exact again once again another exact with proto poro <laughs> that's funny that is very funny popping the spell shield sure dude I could heal him with the twins. Is that ever worth? I don't know if it is. Especially if he already has like scorched. That's fine. We can literally eat a flock with this. Okay, 
Okay, he literally has played every card in his hand up to this point other than the unit that he's going to generate. We'll see what happens. Aloof kind of nice. Getting rid of some big stuff. We made it. Yay. But our stuff did it. Removal? <laughs> okay. No Targon for you, sir. No, he already drew it. Oh, so he finds both of that. I mean, we still do have the impact lethal on what his one card is. That too. Wow. No more Mr. Nice purple. Might be able to just kill him with, like, damage... Because if he kills this, he still isn't, like, wide enough. And the impact six is, yeah. It's too much for him. That was a crazy game, though. Actually nuts, but the Fae Folk pressure is too strong in that one. 